Travis Wayne Goodsell. Is the are the Mormons supposed to be purged to uh, separate the highest of the highest of the celestial kingdom from the rest of Mormons, which are the youth of the noble birthright, the chosen ones, the, the celestial candidates. Uh, is the celestial kingdom to be divided so that only the purest of the purest of Mormons are supposed to be gathered for the latter days, separated from the not as purest of Mormonism? <coughs> the concept or practice of creating a pure white master race of sheep came from the Babylonians. They were the first ones to learn that you could have a, a species of sheep that didn't have blemishes. You merely breed the pure white sheep together. Keep the spotted sheep separated. As a result, they learned you could create a master race of white sheep. <coughs> this concept is not in scripture. The practice is in uh, the Torah, uh, you see how they, uh, the sacrifices were to be unblemished sheep or goats. That's where it came from. That's what's called a linguistic tell for the dating of the document. Because if the Babylonians were the ones who created, discovered that they can do that, if you see it in the text, you know that it cannot be dated before Babylon. It has to be dated after Babylon. Same with the Sabbath. Babylon created the Sabbath. And so anything that talks about the Sabbath is post-Babylon. It's a simple linguistic element for discovering the dating of the text. So the documentary hypothesis is all full of it. <coughs> the latter days, though, is described as separating sheep from goats and wheat from tares and wheat from shaft. Mostly it's in Matthew. Matthew 25, verse 31. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. That's the earthly throne, guys. Son of man. And before him shall be gathered all nations. Well, every Jew reading this will immediately recognize that this son of man is the prophesied Messiah that the Jews are waiting for who will save Jerusalem save Israel. A man, mortal man, mortal parents, like Moses. 
whom the author of Moses tells us is to come in the latter days. So that's all Matthew is doing here. Gathering. Those are his keys. Joseph Smith said the keys of the gathering are the keys of Moses. The Kirtland Temple dedication. And he shall separate them one from another. So the Christ is to do the separating as he is to do the gathering. He is gathering the sheep out of the goats. Divideth his sheep from the goats. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on his left. Again, this comes from the concept that the left hand is evil, and so when somebody has their right hand <coughs> right hand behind their back and they reach with their left hand to shake your hand that's supposed to be a signal that you can't trust that person they're deceiving you there's most likely a knife run and, uh, then shall the king say unto them on his right hand come ye blessed of my father inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. So is there any separation of sheep? I don't see it here. The separation from the spotted sheep, from the black sheep, from the white sheep, the pure white master race of sheep. I don't see it here. Is Matthew wrong? Been wrong about other things once he was made of history. <coughs> this is apocalyptic literature, guys. So let's go to the wheat and the tares and wheat and the chaff. Matthew 13. And another parable he put forth unto them in 24. The kingdom of heaven. So we just saw previously it's the kingdom of earth. When the king comes, mortal man, mortal parents, the gathering, man like Moses likened unto a man which sowed good seed in his field. Seed of the house of Israel? Yeah. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat. That's the scattering of Israel among the world and went his way. And when the blade sprung up, brought forth fruit, then appeared the tares also. So the servants of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, didst not thou sow good seed in thy field? From whence then hath it tares? Why is the seed scattered? Why is the house of Israel scattered? The enemy has done this. And they're saying, well, let's, let's gather the wheat from the tares. No. Lest gathering up the tares, ye root up also the wheat. So you got to wait until harvest to separate the wheat from the tares. Which is in the latter days. In September. familiar with Revelation 12 the sign of the birth do you remember 21st night September 
And so again, is there a, a white master race of wheat? Nope. Wheat is all there is from the tares. Here's something interesting. Section 86 is also the passage that talks about separating wheat from tares. And section 101, right after the parable, familiar with the parable? I went over how you, the manual is wrong. They said Mormons were the servants. Well, who were the twelve olive trees? Which corresponds with the twelve tribes of Israel who are scattered and need to be gathered in the latter days by the man like Moses. Yeah. In verse 65 of section 101, therefore I must gather together my people according to the parable of the wheat and the tares. I just went over it with you. I do not see how Mormons are supposed to be purged from Mormonism. Right there. 101.65 Mormons are the wheat. They are supposed to be gathered out of the world for the latter day gathering. It is not the white master race of Mormons. Travis, why are you getting angry? You'll know exactly why in just a moment. So section 86, it's talking about the latter, day, latter days, let the wheat and the tares grow together until the harvest is fully ripe, then shall ye first gather out the wheat from among the tares. After the gathering of the wheat, behold, and lo, the tares are bound in bundles and the field remaineth to be burned. This is a farming technique. You burn the field so that the nutrients from the remains will purify the, the soil so that you don't deplete it of the nutrients for next year's crop. If America would have learned that, we would have never have had the problems that America has in the soils. Of course, it didn't help when we nuked the deserts. But anyway, this is talking about humans, not land, not soil, not blood and soil. Oh, wait, that's, that's what the white supremacists say. Uh-huh. I do not see a white master race here. It is not justified in scripture. It is a Babylonian concept for their sacrifices. <clears throat> but for the latter days, it's just cheap, it's just wheat. So let's do wheat from chaff. Oh, that's that's the separation of Mormons from the impure Mormons from the pure Mormons, Travis. Are you sure? Because tares are not involved. Let's go over it. Matthew 3. This one has Luke. So finally somebody else is talking about the gathering of the wheat, the chaff. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. 
But he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose Egyptian Ankh I am not worthy of. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire, whose fan is in his hand. We already saw that he's a shepherd. Shepherd's crook. Now he has a fan, a flail. Who were the ones that had shepherd's crooks and flails while they were kings on earth? Anybody see King Tut's display when it came to Utah? You see his coffin? Hmm. Shepherd's crook and fan, huh? <clears throat> he will thoroughly purge his floor. Now you can say that you have to separate the wheat from the tares. Now that you've got the wheat gathered, you're doing a further purging of the wheat. The white master race of Mormons. Maybe that's where they get it from. But the other passages make it very clear that this is not talking about the tares. This is talking about all wheat, not corrupted. And so the separation is only understood as the others in context. So the wheat are the chosen Mormons. The chaff are the rest of the world. Because they're burned. Just like the field after the wheat is separated from the tares. But yeah, if you're going to be the villains this is how you twist scripture to justify your position. <clears throat> well, isn't it interesting, President Russell M. Nelson is purging the master race of Mormons from among the lazy learner Mormons. Do you see the manner in which he's doing it, though? Nelson came out, said he studied the gathering all his life. He, he knows everything about it, except the scriptures. Except the languages used in the scriptures. Because he can't even translate Isaiah correctly. Because again, let me go over that with you. It's not, let God prevail. Jacob, in English, the usurper, usurped Esau's birthright and blessing. Esau was the first one out of the womb. Jacob held on to his ankle. <clears throat> his Achilles heel and so he was named Jacob the purpose of the birthright and blessing we are told has to do about the Messiah coming through Abraham that's his blessing the seed of Abraham to be the chosen lineage 
for the Messiah. Not the master race of people to destroy others. That's what the chosen ones mean. From the house of David. With the crook and the flail. I've gone over that with you. The 18th dynasty of David Moses. That's what's talking about being restored. <clears throat> and so you get Isaac. That's why Ishmael is not involved. His lineage will not have the Messiah. Because Yitzhak, mocking laughter, is to have the Messiah through his lineage. So Esau is the birthright blessing son of whom it's supposed to go through for the last day's Messiah. But Jacob usurps it, both the birthright and the blessing, both the tribal leadership and the inheritance. The tribal leadership is the birthright for the Messiah. So the youth of the noble birthright of the house of Israel in the latter days, Benson, his solemn assembly talk in April, right after Metallica came out with their Master of Puppets album, of which Benson condemned. said that pregnancy was a pernicious evil. You guys are going to get caught up on can't watch R-rated movies, but you're going to ignore pregnancy as a pernicious evil? <clears throat> yes. Joseph Smith said Mormons are the new Israelites and through them will come the Messiah mortal man mortal parents you're not seeing the pattern Jacob usurped it and so the gathering are those who want to be celestial. And as I've gone over with you, you have to input the wheat and the tares with Matthew 3 in order to justify the purging of Mormons. Among Mormons. So why then is Nelson doing all he can to get rid of Mormons from the Mormon church? He's paying our enemies to attack America and a major city yet to be determined in Russia. Shanghai! took away the high priest group which Joseph Smith had an actual high priest quorum he's letting Mormons suffer and die he gives healing videos about the magical power of Jesus, the healing power of gratitude, fasting and prayer. When people need money, 
or just having their homes rebuilt after destruction. Food and other basic necessities, essentials, when it became the survival of the fittest because the grocery stores were out of the products. Now the products are skyrocketing in price without an increase in income. It's going up next year for 2022. So any increase anybody gets is already gone and made worse because the amount of bills are more than the increase people would be getting. And the church is telling Mormons to be self-reliant. It's up to you. You know, after two years, you're responsible for your year's supply. After two years, you were required to have your year's supply in advance of this. Two years, one year supply. Hmm. So the prophets told Mormons to have a one year supply of food for any kind of emergency that would come in the latter days. And so here we are in the latter days now. Even Nelson admitted it. And we needed more than one year supply. And the church won't help with the remaining years because it's still going. So apparently being righteous and rich to have a one year supply of food is still unworthy of the highest of purging of celestial glory. Which the highest degree of the celestial glory is simply marriage. monogamy originally <clears throat> yesterday I did the video the church news was all about all the poor suffering in the Philippines from the natural disaster the church is there helping for Kentucky where were they the two days later in the northwest mid northwest hurricane force winds following the massive tornadoes record breaking out of season Where was the church? Crickets. Mormon crickets. Just see what's happening. In Utah, housing prices are too high. Nobody can afford them. People are being forced out of Utah because they can't live here. Nelson says this is the place for the gathering. Utah, not Missouri, not Joseph Smith, Southern Illinois. Yeah, Southern Illinois. Joseph even said, 19 July, 1840. Most of you think that it's Missouri. You're wrong. He says you're wrong. It's not Missouri. So why was that not put into our Doctrine and Covenants? Oh, right, that whole Judas thing he threw in there about Brigham and his twelve. <laughs> it's even Brigham and his twelve! And Mormons don't see it. 
So who betrayed Joseph, son of Jacob, the birthright blessing son over Reuben? Joseph usurped Reuben's birthright and blessing because Jacob favored Rachel over Leah. What did Judah suggest to his brothers they should do with Joseph? Betray him! Sold him into slavery and ended up in prison. And fake his death. So Judas of the Quorum of Twelve, with Brigham Young as the president of the Quorum of the Twelve, betrays Jesus, the Christ, Joseph Smith. And so the exchangers. Isn't that interesting that there's a certain wording in the parable that Joseph Smith gives in section 101. Verse 49. Might not this money be given to the exchangers? Hmm. Why don't you see that Brigham is Judas? Well, he was supposed to hang himself. Uh-huh. Nope. God instead has shown us the pattern of deaths of the prophets and how God disapproves of them. Lunar eclipses. But those are different videos. What is the cause of this great evil? <clears throat> so, again, there is no justification for Nelson purging Mormonism. He's got trillions of dollars, a whistleblower only exposed the tithing. Will a man rob God? Well, the president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints has robbed God in tithing. What is he doing? He's in the office of Moses, as he claims. And he's not a prophet, he's not a seer, he's not a revelator, and he's definitely not a translator, but they don't even bother with that. That's removed. Have you not paid attention in conference? Again, in October, they went over it with us. Sustain with your vote. Russell M. Nelson as prophet, seer, revelator, and president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. That's it. And he can't even be a prophet, seer, and revelator. He says these are the latter days. Where was Amos 3.7 to warn us in advance of the coming of the latter days. Why did he wait till the middle? When two years of our faithful one year supply of food is gone. So that we could stay home and stay safe. go into greater detail but YouTube 
are also the terrorist enemy supporting the church and the overthrow of America and overthrow the governments of the world. Judas. Now you see what Nelson is doing? Now you know his identity. If you've been watching my other videos, you already knew all this. But yeah, this is why Mormons are exiting the church. Exodusing. <coughs> Had the news covered one in 2012. This year, my brother Todd lost 15 million Mormons, and so Nelson decided, you know what, I don't think we're going to report our stats. <laughs> As prominent Mormons rise up and leave, sue the church, mistakenly call tithing a donation, And the, another bombshell yesterday, the richest Mormon says, Adios, hasta la vista, I won't be back. <laughs> Interesting timing with that latest Terminator, I won't be back. The timeline has been altered to the point where the Messiah, John, <laughs> will not be the one responsible for saving the world. It's now a woman. Because we got to be politically correct and replace men with women. Turn America into Amazonia. What did you think was going to happen? They claim they want to be equal, but are replacing men? <laughs> They're God. And they make comments, we can run this place better than men. And they laugh, ha 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 ha. We rule now. No. It's not about replacing one corrupt leader with another corrupt leader. <sighs> Can't we all just get along? So yeah, here's what's coming. The enemy came by night, broke down the hedge. The servants of the noblemen arose and were affrighted and fled. The enemy destroyed their works and broke down the olive trees. The entire destruction of the Mormons. Because the Mormons refuse to listen to their true Christ. Because they think it's Jesus. They want to be Christian. And it's sad that Mormons cheer Nelson with what he's doing. The purging of Mormons. And they don't realize the danger that's coming for them. Because Nelson has made Mormons weak. He no longer needs membership. Again, the whistleblower pointed out, they don't need us. They make more money through investments now. Senator Lee has been trying to get a bill passed that allows America to import people from other countries, you know, like Russia, to replace Americans. And he says it's for work. 
for the economy but right now nobody wants that they all talk about America first As we're all supposed to be silent that it's the KKK slogan. Utah has an exclusive bank called America First. And then the Deseret First. And we're all supposed to just go, yeah, okay, just a bank. That's all it is. Has nothing to do with the pure white master race. see that the enemy are the ones who are purging the purged. <sighs> Do not see that they're the enemy. So yeah, the second exodus of Mormonism is what has going on this year with the virus or because of the virus because my brother is overwhelmed stop leaving Mormons I can't keep track of y'all I'm Mr. PhD who got his PhD because I pulled the religion card and I'm working for the church as a researcher researching Mormons to track them down and say you're not leaving you know, why even bother keeping track of the Mormons who leave? If you don't want them in the church, if you're purging them purposely to get rid of them with your racism, sexism, bigotry, hatred of the poor, not just in word, but in action, if you have no interest in helping the sick and the afflicted, the poor and the needy, those struggling from natural disasters here in Utah, if you're wanting Mormons out, if you're altering, or I mean hinge pointing the church to be more evangelical Christian, idol worship, judgmental, Take away agency? Oh, that's Lucifer's plan. Oh. Huh. That's the white supremacy doctrine. Oh. Huh. Lucifer, huh? Huh. I wonder if somebody has traced it back to the original white supremacy Luciferian doctrine of the Illuminati. The light bearers. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. There's somebody on YouTube you guys might know of who's traced it to some Judas who infiltrated the Mormon church to destroy it, conquer it, run his own organization, claim that Joseph was still the founder, <laughs> who still uses the Book of Mormon, to recruit and yet it's the Book of Mormon that's caused their downfall <clears throat> because again they're lying about Joseph they did exactly what Constantine did the Gospels were apocalyptic literature he comes along in the Nicene Council with the Nicene Creed and says Oh, it's now history. Well, yeah, but now you've created more problems. Because you've got too many birth dates, first of all, in just Matthew alone. <laughs> Which one is it? As apocalyptic literature, yeah. It made sense. You had to decode it. 
but it makes sense. It was in harmony with the other apocalyptic literature. So, now you know. Now you understand why the church refuses to give of their substance refuses to assist unless it's for extortion purposes oh Philippines hey the church is here you gotta be good you know you owe us we're gonna purge you we'll deny you substance like Kentucky what did Kentucky do to the church were the Mormons in Kentucky the bad guys I know Utah yeah because we got all these Mormons leaving which then begs the question even further, how did Trump win in Utah? How? We still have the original voting machines that are hackable by a baby. <laughs> you know, it was like a 14, 12 year old kid, but nonetheless. How did Trump win when Utah wanted medical marijuana, wanted gay marriage, and yet they wanted Trump, who's anti-medical marijuana, who's anti-gay marriage. How? Are we sure? Do we need to send in cyber ninjas? to check our ballots? <laughs> huh. I guess there's no need since the right candidate won who wants a white master race for America. Isn't that interesting? 